and welcome to this special S10 edition of The Pulse. It's March 28th and we are on location in sunny Anaheim, California. Coming up, we'll get a different view of Anaheim than you would typically see in a tourist brochure. And we'll check out how a private company is affecting Anaheim, California's economy. I'm Miles Hurley. And I'm Cameron Wazilowski. And you're watching The, the Pulse. Pulse. Anaheim is full of beautiful homes and unique places to visit. However, homelessness is still an incredibly prominent issue for this area. Kaylee Feschler uncovers a side of Orange County that usually isn't seen in movie screens. The city of Anaheim puts time and money into making sure their streets are picturesque for tourists. However, they are not as invested in taking care of the less fortunate residents who live on these streets. Most people agree that homelessness is an issue that must be addressed. Um, this government should step up to the plate and do what they need to do to help them out. I mean, there's a lot of empty buildings, there's a lot of facilities, there's volunteers. You know, homelessness shouldn't be that way. There's a guy that's out in front of our hotel, which is the Hyatt, who's been sitting out there when we got there with just a white blanket and a wheelchair. But what we may not think about is how many people, like Maria Mota, are forced into homelessness due to circumstances beyond their control. They, they treat me very nice. They, they, they do respect uh, people that are uh, elderly and, and plus disabled. In fact, many say that homelessness is inevitable, but Maria Mota believes that eliminating this problem is not so complex. As far as homeless people, uh, we're, you know, they want to get them out of here, clean it up, make it really look pretty, you know. Uh, that's, it's not just a city thing. You got to fear, you got to remember that the homeless and all this is, is nationwide. Although the streets of Anaheim are still riddled with the homeless population, many residents are looking to the government for funding and resources to resolve this issue. From the Student Television Network and Manchester High, this has been Kaylee Feshler reporting. Homelessness is a serious issue both in California and around the country. Nonprofit organization The Mercy House is in the process of building a year round shelter in Anaheim. This new addition to the community should help to address this growing problem. On a larger scale, our nation is currently divided over the issue of Planned Parenthood as the government is debating the organization's federal funding. Lauren and Diana hit the streets to share Anaheim's perspective on the matter. 101 years ago, Planned Parenthood began as a revolutionary idea. Today, Planned Parenthood delivers a variety of information to women, men, and young people worldwide. But recently, this organization is now in jeopardy. Although we could not speak to the members here at Planned Parenthood, the citizens themselves have spoken. In this country, we're very divided in terms of, you know, pro-abortion or anti-abortion, so. Because I think we've got other bigger problems that we should resolve. This is a very delicate situation. Some see it one way. All they're doing is cutting funding to support the other things that Planned Parenthood does. Whatever their mission statement is, as long as they're following those mission statements, which I believe, like you said, includes uh, women's health. While others feel the opposite. Uh, we should invest our money and funds in more important things. I think it should be the parents' responsibility to bring up their child. But if they want to bring them into this world, it should be on them. While some are even neutral. People who use it need it, who don't, you know, it's, I'm just, I'm just neutral. Their views are widely controversial and mirror the ones of the nation. From Manchester High School and for the Student Television Network, this has been Lauren Diana reporting. But whether they believe Planned Parenthood should receive government funds or not, the city of Anaheim is dedicated to providing adequate health care to women who need it. When we come back, a look at the impact of transportation on the community. But first, a reminder. I am gay. I am straight. I am lesbian. I am transgender. 
I am human. The transportation industry plays a huge role in Anaheim's economy, and drivers, while essential to its success, often fail to get the appreciation that they deserve. Chris Pagano brings us the story. From its famous amusement parks to its beloved sports teams, Anaheim attracts visitors from all over. And most of them need ways to get around. One option for travelers are taxis. And Walter Figueroa has been driving taxis for 25 years. Uh, it's very hard, tough job, you know. Basically, it must be the, uh, the pace depends. Most of the drivers work in 10, 12 hours a day. Despite the long days spent in the front seat of a car, these drivers do not receive the same benefits as most people in the workforce. But we don't have any benefits, like uh, retire or medical, you know. It's part of the job. Taxi drivers are also faced with growing competitions from corporations such as Lyft and Uber. In other places I know many friends, drivers, they're not working anymore. Ali Alserman, a local Uber driver, experienced the negative economic effects from working in a business with such a large supply of drivers. I used to drive a taxi for a living and for a long time. Okay, then when Uber came in the picture, okay, I could make a living. Yet, he still faces the same struggles driving with a private company. Switched to Uber, hoping that uh, I could do that, but no, it's not. I'm like working part-time, but I'm not making a living. And when he is sick or physically unable to drive... Too bad. <laughs> The transportation industry is a necessity and one of California's greatest tourist attractions. However, the most important people, the drivers, feel as if they deserve social justice. For Manchester High School and for the Student Television Network, this has been Chris Pagano reporting. Keep this in mind the next time you take a taxi, an Uber, or any other motor vehicle. And remember to thank your drivers for their dedication to getting you where you need to be. Well, that concludes this special edition of The Pulse. If you're interested in learning more about The Pulse or viewing some of our other projects, visit mhstelevision.com. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook at MHS Red Prod. I'm Cameron Wozolowski. And I'm Miles Hurley. And this has been The, the Pulse. Pulse.